what is going on guys? This truck is here. I'm just riding my way home after work. I figured I'd do a little review. I installed a LED headlight. Um, yeah, on my CRF. It's the one you can get off eBay. I think I paid 32 bucks out of China. Nice dark road, so I figured I'd give her a shot. Maybe I'll do a review on that real quick. And then I'll do a, maybe a review on these key to hand grips. Uh, forget who makes these things. But anyway, yeah, the uh, LED headlight first, I guess. Um, eBay, it's got three LEDs, two, and then uh, for the low, and then the high beam kicks on another LED. I'll put a link in the description, so if anybody's interested. But so far, I'm actually pretty impressed. The lights, the light's pretty white. Um, yeah, you can see pretty much what's going on. It's, uh, I might have to adjust it out a bit. Aim it kind of down a little bit, but... Uh, the headlight on this uh, CRF 250L was never, never that bad. It was actually a pretty good uh, headlight. I don't know why I went with this LED thing. A little more light. See what the fuss was about. But yeah, it, this thing lights up the road pretty nice. The signs pop. That's one thing I noticed. The signs really pop blue. It's that cooler, uh, cooler temperature of the LED. It really reflects things like think of these guys. Like their backs just pop. You can really see it. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice contrast. And I think that's probably the one of the biggest uh, differences. And the uh, the color of the the light is a lot whiter. It's almost a blue, whereas the other one was. Uh, yellow right from the halogen so yeah I'd have to say this thing's pretty neat the, the beam pattern sucks though anytime you put an LED in a halogen uh, reflecting the reflector housing you're gonna get artifacts and stuff but it's not too bad like it's it's throwing the light out there it's, yeah it's not too bad it's not as clean as like the halogen LED or the halogen bulb would be in this housing but, so far, it's not too bad. I'm definitely going to have to adjust it out further. Nobody's flashing me yet with their headlights, so I don't think that it's too, uh, it's too bright. But that's on low, and I don't have a comparison to the other one. You can see some of my other videos. Are in, I don't think I have any night videos, though, on my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, you, you kind of know it's an H4 bulb, so anything really that's H4 will give you an indication of what the color is and stuff. But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. And the other thing I got is these Oxford heated grips. Uh, adventure style is what I got. And yeah, I've been using them since I've been riding in the more of the fall weather. And I have to say that's probably the best hundred dollars I've spent on this bike. And if you're gonna ride in the fall, the heated hand grips are fantastic. I was worried about you know having to get the heated pads and then making them stick and then you know you you gotta fit your grips over them and stuff like that. And then I I was like one day I was like there's gotta be something that's all integrated to make it easy for the the installer you know just to it's got to be in the grip you know molded somebody's has to have done that so sure enough i did some research i went and looked and uh, oxford came up so then i went over canada's motorcycle and i searched for heated uh, hand grips and i found the oxfords and i was like freaking right so made it easy i installed them a couple of hiccups um, with the throttle side, it had a bunch of little little tits on it, so they wouldn't slide on that. So I had to just take a, an angle grinder and grind them down. It was very easy. It took me probably an extra five, ten minutes to grind them all flat. 
and then uh, the grip slid right over and the wiring was a breeze right to battery it's got a smart controller so if it notices that your bike's not on it'll uh it'll turn them off so it has a, like a power saving thing come on man you don't back out in front of me and then go 30 kilometers an hour as you smoke your cigarette because that's all i can smell jesus Good bonehead anyway back to the oxford yeah so i've been riding with these ever since you know it started getting cool at night it's probably about five degrees tonight five celsius which is 40 fahrenheit double it not 30 right that's how it works so 40 fahrenheit and uh <coughs> they are amazing my hands do not get cold they, they actually get if you boost them to 100 percent they get really scorching hot i have them set to 75 just to uh just to get them hot and then I turn them down to about 30% so there you go so 40% <coughs> excuse me and they're, they're absolutely fantastic um, I couldn't recommend them enough if you are gonna ride in the fall it's one of those things that you know your comforts everything in your hands and you start your hands start getting cold you can't control the bike as well because you, you can't feel, you know what I mean? You can't feel your throttle, you can't feel your brake, your clutch. I was having trouble coming home sometimes. And uh, I was having trouble. When I got home, I couldn't, my fingers weren't working right. So I uh, started looking at those and as soon as I installed them, I noticed, you know, getting a lot better on the, uh, the uh, fine motor stuff, like feeling the bars and just having a lot more control over the, you know, the clutch lever, the brake lever. I'm not, you come home and your hands are so cold, you, you do that stall out thing, you know, and you let the clutch out too quick. This really helps with that. So I would recommend uh, the heated hand grips. The LED light, yeah, you could probably do without it. It is cool and it is what it is. There's high. It, it, it does actually throw quite a bit of light. I'm, I'm kind of pleased with it. After I adjust my headlight so the low beam's not so friggin' uh, directly in front of me, but again, I don't want people you know, getting mad at me and getting blinded by my. Uh, my light so it is what it is so the ebay led you know it is it is pretty cool i'll give it that <laughs> oh well, high beams in the city really light things up though i have to say that's pretty neat i don't know if you guys can even see that on your your monitors but 30 bucks, give it a shot. See if you like her. Yeah. Let me know if you've tried it and if you like it and if you didn't. Yeah. So anyway, that's my two little mini reviews on the way home. And I hope you guys have a good time and a good night. And Struckus is out.